name is David Orban. I am the CEO uh, of DotSub, uh, which is the company that we will be using as the example after I uh, give my uh, brief presentation. I'm also on the faculty and an advisor to the Singularity University in California. And I want to talk to you about why uh, Bitcoin is the trust engine for people who don't trust each other, uh, rather than being forced into relationships that we are uncomfortable with. And you know, before we heard that 6.5 million people uh, are not uh, perfectly fine with the current financial system, I think that's more like 7 billion people uh, who is not comfortable with the current financial system over here. Right? Uh, so, I will talk to you about what are the advantages. We will see a scenario and then we will make the announcement that I was supposed to be making at the end, but now you know that DotSub is accepting Bitcoins as a payment. All of you walked around uh, the stock exchange coming here. It was fascinating to see them cage in, hiding in, in, in just closing their eyes and, and wishing the future away and, and, and totally failing to do so. It is, it is absolutely, you know, so symbolic uh, to, to see that. And because the future is already here, we are living it, you are living it, you are aware of that. You know, if you were around in 1994, when Netscape was being born and the internet, uh, became something that went beyond the research institutions and educational institutions. This is that moment, uh, but for something that we have been using for thousands of years, rather than something that uh, we became familiar with only for uh, a few decades, because that is money, that is what uh, we are talking about. Who knows what this is? Anybody? Uh, this is a merit badge, a nerd merit badge representing a Bitcoin, and I have two. Each of them cost one Bitcoin, and I bought them when Bitcoin was $8, okay? That's my street cred. What is funny is that they still cost one Bitcoin. If you want one, you can buy one. And in the future, when Bitcoin is going to be worth thousands of dollars, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars each, well, you will be able to tell my story and earn your uh, street cred too. I'm not going to talk to you about Bitcoin as an investment or, or mining or trading. Those are interesting things, but I'm going to concentrate on why in a peer-to-peer -peer network where everybody is the same, anybody and everybody can be a merchant. It should be actually a merchant. Uh, who has an e-commerce website here in a room? Okay, a few of you. Who ever bought something on an e-commerce website? Everybody. Who is familiar with Square, the little dongle that goes into the iPhone that allows you to accept credit cards? Well, all of those processes today require trust. Bitcoin does not require trust. When you sign up as a merchant, you go through a process of verification, credit checks, authorization. You can become a Bitcoin merchant instantaneously with no authorization by anybody, ever. We already heard there is no intermediary. When you sell something using Bitcoin, you're in direct relationship with your customer. Uh, there is no distance in space and in time in the transaction. The transaction is not repudiable. This means that the client that made the purchase, that purchase is final. But as a merchant, you cannot say, oh, you didn't send me the money. Neither of the two parties can say the transaction did not occur. Because the transaction, as we heard, becomes part of a public ledger, and it's there. It is pseudonymous, because your identity is not attached to the transaction itself, but only the addresses that sent and received the um, amounts are publicly known. However, at any uh, dispute, one of the parties will point to the line in the ledger and will say, oh, that's my transaction. 
You see? You send me a widget and it's bad, I paid you good money for it, give my money back. Or you can say, uh, well, uh, the, the service that, that uh, was delivered is, is not good. The non replicability of the transaction is a fundamental new component that was very, very hard. Astro services, all these sophisticated services were needed before to assure. For a lot of uh, services and a lot of trades, margins are an issue. Whether we are talking about gross margins, whether we are talking about net margins, in, in the retail industry, in the restaurant business, in New York, restaurants go out of business all the time. All of them have great food, except a few, but when they go out of business, it's because they cannot make it. If they live on margins of, let's say, 10%, and they pay 3% of commissions to the credit card industry, that means that a third of their margin goes away for something that with Bitcoin they have to pay zero fees for. I already said that anybody can become a merchant. If you have a phone, you can be a merchant. If you have a website, you can be a merchant. And what used to be very complicated to set up an e-commerce website, you can do it in literally minutes. It can be used anywhere. You don't need uh, to say, okay, is that guy accepting credit cards? Today, Bitcoin is not universally known, it's not universally accepted, but you can be sure that it will be no question anymore in a few years. Anywhere there is a phone, anywhere there is an internet uh, access, you will be able to uh, buy and sell in Bitcoin. Of course, anytime. And some of you might have heard that the banking system it is, is climbing down on merchants that are accepting Bitcoin. Who has heard stories, uh, horror stories of people saying, oh my God, my bank account was closed because I was uh, uh, doing Bitcoin. So you will be very happy to see this. Uh, I just received this email from my bank uh, who I alerted, hey, I, I will be accepting Bitcoin as a payment. And they replied very happily, I appreciate the heads up. I see no issue in you accepting Bitcoins to be processed by an outside partner at this time. Best regards, XYZ, Vice President, Bank of America. So this is an official confirmation by a major American bank. You have no problems going in and out of the uh, fiat money system, of the official banking system, while using Bitcoin. And of course, it is important because if you sell something for Bitcoin, still means that you need to buy bread, pay electricity bills, uh, pay the rent, and for the moment you can do that with this. You can use it online, you can use it offline, and you create basically a network society if you are smart, if you think about uh, other things, not only mining, not only trading, not only Bitcoin as an investment, think about all the possibilities when solar energy is going to be distributed rather than centralized with oil as it is today, when plant labs, as they are called, will allow you to grow your food, to uh, print your meat, uh, when manufacturing is going to be distributed and peer-to-peer -peer, right, it is, like it is becoming 3D printed. Learning is being transformed by YouTube and all the massive online open courseware. Quantified self and the healthcare system is becoming personal, personalized, and peer to peer uh, as well. That is what Bitcoin is part of. And you know what is happening in China? Who heard about China clamping down on Bitcoin? Well, what is happening in China is, of course, extremely interesting and extremely important. They have a long term view. What they are doing is saying, okay, our banks do not need to experiment. Our banks do not need to be tainted by whatever is going on with Bitcoin. Our currency, we will try to decide when it should become convertible rather than forcing it to become convertible by uh, the, the sneaky nature of, of, of 
Bitcoin uh, making it so without our control. However, you can be sure that regardless of the Chinese government, the Chinese people are going to be thinking very, very hard how to be in this game, how to make incredibly important applications on top of the Bitcoin protocol, as I am sure it's going to be the New York community of startups, the New York community of financial people, in order to create very, very uh, interesting and wonderful scenarios. So let's look at one. Dotsub lives in an exponential time. We are about online video. And according to Cisco, is going to be over 90% of the global internet traffic in just a couple of years. And we allow online video discovery through captions and subtitles that make search engines understand what is inside the video rather than just their titles. So that everything, every message, every independent filmmaker, every talk that I am now recording and I will be uploading can be uh, reaching its full potential like this two hour long documentary uh, that originally shot in English has only 14% of its views in English and 86% of the views are in languages uh, other than English, uh, very common ones or very exotic ones. And this is available on all kinds of devices, on phones, on tablets, uh, connected televisions, and so on. So, our announcement is that after WordPress and Reddit and Zynga uh, and other uh, online and offline merchants, uh, Dotsub is also uh, accepting starting today our system is online already uh, payments with Bitcoin on our website. And how it works is very, very easy. What you do with Dotsub is you upload your video and then you order captioning and translation of video files. So you select your transcription, you select the languages that you want uh, to uh, have it translated into, and then the checkout button, rather than being a normal button, it becomes a drop-down menu where you can choose that you want to do uh, good old credit cards or you want to do super cool new Bitcoin instead. And if you choose Bitcoin, uh, an address uh, will appear that you can copy and paste if you want to use the web browser, uh, where maybe on another tab you have Coinbase or other wallets, online wallets already open, or if you want to use your phone, you can just uh, point it at the uh, QR code. So, let me do that. Here we are. I found my blockchain wallet to scan the code. There it is. It's too far for you to see, and I don't have the camera to, to show you closer, but immediately scanned it, and it gives me the amount that I see there of 0 0.06 uh, Bitcoin, and with just another button, I will be sending the payment, and the website will immediately know that the payment has been made. Um, and this kind of, of, of extremely easy interaction is available to all of you in order to become a Bitcoin merchant, whether you sell widgets, whether you sell services, whether you sell labor. The relationships of employment are going to fundamentally change through uh, Bitcoin transactions as well. Uh, who is a member of the media here? Uh, do we have bloggers? You know, uh, we define bloggers media as well. We have uh, a press release that we are very happy to hand out to you and answer your questions. And of course, if you want to support or sub supporting the Bitcoin economy, we also accept donations uh, that you are very welcome to send us. Uh, uh, you can experiment sending uh, Bitcoins uh, just uh, through that. And I am happy to answer your questions regarding what you just heard from me in these few minutes. Thank you.